Hi guys, welcome back to another video from Kennedy's Garage. Peter here. What I have is a 2017 Citro no sorry, P I was going to say Citroen Merlingo, Peugeot Partner. Um, Multi-space. The fall codes that I have, I'll Peugeot show partner. you. We have a fall code P2202, Knox sensor circuit low bank one up the top. Oh, this is a new feature on scan tools, on this scan tool anyway. It's shown a rise in parts and what is actually at fault. There's a knock sensor. If you want to pause there and try and zoom in, you can read the abbreviation as much as you want if it's of any use. Okay, guys, in at the knock sensor here. The knock sensor is coming out to a module that sits here, it's bolted onto the floor. In at the knock sensor, there's four wires going into it. You can probably actually see the four wires here. We have a brown, a yellow, pink, and a black. We have some of them back probed. What we have at what we have at, at these is brown is a ground. The two center ones are can, can high, can low. I don't know which one is which. And we have a power feed. So the actual module itself is getting the can, sorry, the the NOx sensor module is getting a power feed, so we have 12 volts and a ground. The only other two wires that are coming out of our CAN communication wires back to the SCR module, ECM module. I uh, don't know, I'll put up a picture of the actual wire and diagram on it now. But it really is tied into, and as you saw, going to be just an OX sensor. What I'm going to do is prove that I have powers and grounds coming here and that they're actually working and doing their job. So when you see my back probing pins that I had stuck in here, what I have here and the car is running for this reason because they go into kind of a battery saving mode. We have battery voltage at this point in time, 14.9 volts. Quite high, but that's what it's in there now. Uh, magnesium has been on for a while, so maybe the battery is down and it's charging probably fairly hard. So we have proved, using the ground, using the power on our multimeter, we have proved with our wires heading down that we have a power on ground come here. The only other thing I'm going to do, I have connected onto a, a ground here, is I want to load test that. So, Onto the ground, the red pin is my 12 volt power feed. I'm going to get my test light and I'm going to connect it onto that pin just to see if it lights. And you can see it lights. So we're proving the integrity of the actual power feed because my test light lights. So I'm load testing the circuit to the, to the power feed source. Now what I'm doing, I'm just putting my little back probing pin onto the 12 volts and now I'm going to use my circuit tester again on the ground just to prove that the ground is actually working. Yes, and circuit integrity for the ground is good. So what the next step is we're going to have a look at the can uh, wires just to prove probably nearly could stop at that point. We're going to look at can lines just to make sure that they're okay and that we're getting a signal out from them, okay? We'll see where we go from there. It's probably going to be a knock sensor from what evidence we have. So, okay guys, I have, I'm back probing the two can wires there at this point in time, you can see it. Yellow pin is in the yellow wire and black pin is in the pink wire. You can actually see here on our scope, you can see the data packets coming through. Not a huge amount of data in here because they're, it's only for the NOx sensor. Information from the NOx sensor getting back to the ECM, PCM, what you can see, we'll actually pause. Here we go. I want to record again. Could actually set up a trigger. All right, we can, uh, and just to say, decided to take its time. All right. Okay, just to show, there we have on our green trace, two and a half been pulled up to three and a half, or so you can actually see. Two and a half pulled up to just above three and a half or four, and then the red trace being pulled from 2.5 or two and a half down to 1.5. Okay, so you can see our data packets are nice, clean. I'm just deeming this a knock. Okay, guys, it is a in in stock. There's part number three. We have all my stuff out again to go testing. Here is the module to get a visual on the module, and that's the actual sensor itself, I believe. They are kind of like two, two oxygen sensors tied in together as in a normal, normal old type uh, 
switching one volt in a broadband and switching that basically sends a signal into this and then that sends a signal back up to see how much oxygen and it's converted into NOx gases for the PCM. But that's it anyway. Get out into it, car, done. I'll do a little test drive in a minute and catch up to you again. To show, just so I don't forget to tell you, on this scan tool in here, in the spawn functions, special functions, replacement parts, work on the emissions control. In here then we have replacement of replacement of NOx sensor, okay? What it is is a re initialization of the this is because it has been done and the engine is running but I'm just showing you where you can uh, get into with it okay just to show talk please, to you please like and subscribe if any of my hints and tips are good to you and I'll talk to you in the next cartoon thanks Peter signing out